Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me here. My name, of course, is Mr. Mocha Lover, and I am recording this late. And yes, I am trying out Rome Total War. So, we do have a few days before Man the Guns comes out. That being said, I was planning on doing a few historical battles within the Total War series. We're, of course, starting off with Rome Total War, the first Total War that I ever played that I absolutely fell in love with. I believe this came out in 2014. And the historical battle we're doing today, obviously it's already in the title, but we'll do the Battle of Sinocephale. Mostly because I haven't played this in a very long time. And I'm not very good at uh, Rome Total War. The mechanics are kind of, kind of old. And I did choose this over... Rome 2, despite Rome 2 looking quite a bit better, but Rome 1 was just was so good in my youth that I decided, why don't we try one of these historical battles? Maybe you guys will like it, maybe you guys won't. I don't know if I'm going to win or not, but that's not really why we're here. Hopefully we do. God, I hope we do. That'd be really sucky if we didn't. That's why I chose the Battle of Sinocephale. But let's go ahead and choose our army, which is not Macedonia. And yes, I think these unit sizes are the, like this by default, so obviously we're playing as the Scipii, Scipii family, and these will be our units, medium battle, medium battle difficulty with no advice, and let's get to the cutscene. Or I guess, first of all, a loading screen. So obviously Confucius on the front there, a little quote by Confucius, and luckily this game loads up pretty quickly. Thessaly, Northern Greece. This is the army of Titus Flaminius, camped below the Sinocephale Ridge. It is morning, and Flaminius has sent a scout party up onto the ridge to survey the terrain. Oh boy. Two days have passed since the Macedonians were first sighted at Pherae to the south. There, Flaminius defeated Philip in a cavalry skirmish. Flaminius suspects that the enemy are close by. Oh, no. How right he will turn out to be. Not the horses. Get in, uh, involved into a trap. Ooh, that's a lot of guys. That's a lot of spears. Oh. Don't attack. Oh, my God. Don't formed his phalanx spearmen into a line across the top of the ridge. It's going to be a difficult battle. Phalanx spearmen are tough to beat in a frontal assault, especially going uphill. However, not all of Philip's left flank is in position. A decisive strike here could be a chance to seize the initiative. To arms, then, to the task at hand. May the strength of the eagle carry the day. Oh, right. So we're going to pause that right there because I don't know how to win yet. Or at least how to conduct our battle. So obviously the right side here 
are the Macedonians, who are still coming into the battle. And there you have Phalanx, 80 men, 80 Phalanx, uh, 80 Light Infantry, and then a few horses. So, obviously, we're going to attack at the right side first. On the left side, we're going to just kind of hang out for a while. If they come down striking towards us, that's okay with me. Because if they come down towards us, we can uh, go around them and flank them. We have to keep in mind they have quite a few Peltis, including on their flank, as well as a general. If you kill the general, that would be great. Now, let's see. Principes, Hastati, Fiorii. What I'm going to do is let's divide up our group first. We're going to group all these. Uh, there we go. But not you. What I want, actually, uh, these are old 2004 mechanics, I believe. Have a nice, solid front, kind of like that. You will run, and then you will be grouped up. I will put the Peltists on the hill, so they kind of have better range, I think. You do something like that. I want the general to move up here as well, because 49, if their general decides to attack us earlier on, we can meet him with our general, and that leaves us the right side to focus on an attack. Or actually, no. I want the, my general over here. Actually, we can use our general to attack in the rear. No, I want, I want to kill their enemy horses. That's really, I think, what's most important. All right, so then you guys. Two, three, four. You all will form some sort of line like this. Put a G group. And then we will have the elephants get close, but they will not engage. Uh, all right, there we go. So I need the left side to hold extremely hard. Uh, are they moving? Or are they just kind of fumbling about there? It looks like they're fumbling a... Oh, I think they're moving down. Uh, oh. Oh, boy. Oh, uh, boy. Go ahead and do something like that. We will want to engage first. Uh, boy. Is that the right thing to do? Oh, my gosh. I really don't want them to charge, but it looks like we're going to. Well, we better get involved anyways. Horses are tearing them asunder. That's good. Oh, they got some horses over here. Go ahead and do something like that if you can. Eh, well, I guess we really need the horses down here. I need you to get over here, and then... Oh, god dang it. Oh, this is... I know this is a little gamey for me to do, but I will pause quite a bit. Actually, I want you to attack. Actually, you know what? You don't actually even need this. They have they don't have their um, things up. Y'all do this. Oh my god. What's going on over here? You got attacked by horses. Oh, I can't pull that off. Oh god. That's not good. So the right side is pretty much crumbling at this point. That's not good. I need to take... Oh my gosh, they're murdering my my guys here. I need you to come over here. I need you... Actually, you could probably just pop these guys off. Actually. The right side, it looks like it's almost... Not quite co completely done. I'm going to send you two out, though, to take care of these uh, enemies. Hopefully. I need the rest of you guys over here immediately. Uh, you guys run. Go ahead and run. I need you, you guys might as well engage, you're doing well. We have the horses here, which will have to move out very soon. Kill the enemy general. The enemy general is slain, and now his men fear us. Very nice, it is time good. To press the attack. Uh, go ahead and, I guess, engage for now. Got to open this one. Uh, let's see, I want you to come up here. Actually, I want you over here. Go ahead and run. You guys do not need to run. I don't want you tired out. We have you three over here doing the Lord's work. You will be bolting the Phalanx Spearmen. We've got a few guys over here. Uh, horses. Go ahead and take those bolts out. Hopefully we can get around this Spearman group. Doing okay. Doing alright. Uh, actually, no. I need you to... Oh, are you out? Oh my god, they're out of missiles. 
They are already out of missiles. Luckily, most of the spears are facing away. Uh, horses have engaged the enemy. Oh god, they're routing already. Awesome. Go ahead, go behind them. Prince of Bays. Do that. Uh, do behind them anyways. Go ahead and try to strike. Go over there. Not bad. Could be much worse. Now the horses will take care of the peltas. I think we'll do pretty well here. Go ahead and strike them around. Hopefully they don't let them lower their spears yet. Go ahead and run. Take them out if you can. Wait, where are, they? where are you guys? What the hell are y'all doing? Get over here. Like, that's not cool. Nope, it looks like our artillery's not doing so well. That's alright. Cool. Alright. Oh, this is not good. This is really not good. Yeah, why are why are you guys all the way out there? Why did you run all the way that way? Don't engage the spears. Come on, if we can kill these guys in the back, that I wish it would help us out quite a bit. Awesome, making them routes. Come up here next. Go ahead and try to strike these guys. Horses are so powerful in this version of Total War. It, they really are the best, in my opinion, the best unit. Hopefully there's 39 versus 64. One of our guys are routing, and that's not good. Oh, they... So see if you can try to maybe kill off those spikemen. Alright, come on. Get... Move! I need you to move! Go ahead and try to take out those spears. Horses! Uh, they're doing well, they're doing well. Ooh, if we need to strike back here, that'd be good. <clears throat> oh boy. Come on. Uh, the elf, one of the elephants has perished. That is not good. Go ahead, lower your spears. That's good. I will, if I have to, I will sacrifice my general, but I hope to god I won't have to. Come on, don't let them lower their spears. Come on. Awesome. Oh, that's so good. We might actually win. And the last elephant's going berserk. Awesome. Uh, unit routes. Oh, shame will spread. Oh, and yeah. Oh, don't. Go, yeah, go towards the enemy. Wait, are you still firing? Oh, God, no, we can't have that. What button is this? A, fire will mode. Cool. Very cool. Alright, so I think, I think we've actually done really well here. They're going to engage. You guys are going to strike immediately into this area. Masati are doing okay. There's 100 men left over there. Oh, and they got some over there as well. Hurry up for- Oh my god, that light infantry is dying! Are you guys running or are you guys walking? This looks like an extremely slow run. Charging. Come on, strike them down. Okay, looks like those guys are done. Those pulses are finished. I need both of you to engage the last group over here. I think we're doing okay. I think. I hope so. You guys probably are very tired. Yeah, they're, they're quite literally very tired. Marching, eager, but very tired. Right. Go ahead and run a little bit. Little chubby cheeks. Oh, we still got everyone up there. Well, I need you over here immediately because we need you to do both. Go ahead. If you can just strike them in the rear, or they can turn around, this will just break this entire unit. I know you're tired, I know you, you, you want to go home, you want to take a nap, or something like that. But, not right now. There you go. Ah, they've been broken. Very good. Very nice. And we've got six units left. A whole six units. And we're going to focus these guys down. Very nice. Uh, let's see. Oh, actually, I didn't grab everyone there. So, with you guys, what we're gonna do, we're gonna help have you hold the front. We will. Good, oh, no one's coming over from this side. Good. I need you to run right now. 
I need to charge, and then I'm gonna lower the speed in front. Where are you going? No, 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 what are you doing? What are you doing, boy? Good. Good. Have you over here? Let them get engaged first. Because the cavalry is pretty much the saving grace of our unit. Alright, go ahead and charge if you can. You're still very tired, that's totally fine. And they're routing. You know, I would probably route too as well. But just in case, we can't do any more, anything else. <clears throat> Let's at least maybe hose some of them down. You know, just so that they don't come back. Alright, so you guys are going to go that way. <clears throat> and actually, I think we're, we've pretty much won in this point. We pretty much have. So you guys go engage that group. You go engage that group. Let the horses come up to the top. I want you guys to come over here. You don't need a charge. There's no charging needed. <clears throat> Excuse me. The horse is getting kind of dry. I want you to just kind of hang out as we watch Spearmen spear each other. Victory seems certain. Victory is a distinct possibility. Ooh, that's not good. Actually, you know what? You go ahead and charge. Yeah, this... Oh my gosh, they're losing a lot of guys very quickly. Go, just charge. At this point, just charge. Go ahead, charge. The sh if we can break this unit, I, yeah, we pretty much won. And they are getting slaughtered. Nice. Go ahead and move out of the way. Out of the spear coming in. And 32 units are coming up here. Six. Very good. And let's see. We have 19 to 21. With the help of cavalry, we should be able to win. So. And over here, if we can't take out this last Macedonian unit, they only have 31 guys versus at least 100. We should be able to do pretty well. And we won! Alright, that's pretty cool. Praised. The enemy's hearts are full of fear, and now they flee! Uh, I mean, I guess technically we could continue the battle, but I guess it you know, really doesn't matter. Uh, so, that was the Battle of Cephanosephernalemia. Let's take a quick look at the couch view. Very cool, really quick, yes. Yeah. So it was a close victory, very close, I didn't know if we were going to win or not. We had killed a little less than 1100, while the enemy inflicted about 809 casualties or so. So that was pretty cool, I mean we didn't, we ended up with so few men that I don't think that that Scipii family could really continue on, but you know, that was just my battle, battle result. But with that in mind, that's all we have for today. Tomorrow will probably be another historical battle, maybe from Rome Total War, if you guys like it, or maybe a different Total War game. I will let you know I do not have all the Total War games. Maybe you don't even like me playing a historical game. Maybe you want to see me play a campaign instead. Please let me know in the comments below. If not, uh, I have all the Total War games, except for like the original Medieval, the original Shogun, as well as I don't have any of the Warhammer games. I never was really interested in the Total War Warhammer games, despite me knowing that those games are actually pretty darn good. So with that in mind, guys, leave a comment below as to which next historical battle, or would you like to see me create my own battle that's fairly balanced, in like a siege battle, a naval battle, or something like that, in one of the other, other Total War games. And like I said earlier, uh, leave a comment below about that. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I will see you tomorrow. Leave a like if you like, it, if you like the video. Subscribe if you're new here. And leave a like if you're ready for Man and the Guns coming out, and I will see you tomorrow as we find a new way to kill millions of people, or hundreds of people, while, be while having a clear conscience. Thank you very much for watching.